God is so concerned, so loves who? Yes, I know it's you and me, but what he actually loves is the world in sin. And the scripture is clear in this, for that a man would give his life for his friends, but who would lay down his life for his enemies? Because the world is at enmity with God, the Bible says so. The world is not the friend of God. And, and what, what Jesus is saying here is that God so loved that he gave the price, the ransom, to buy us back. Why did we have to be ransomed? It's all clear here. It's so clear in the scripture to be ransomed because we, without Christ, are the servants of the devil. Oh, you might not like it. But the Bible is absolutely clear that from the moment that we're born, we're born into sin, we're born into a corrupt world, and we're born as slaves and servants to Lucifer. Now, you don't realize this, but without Christ, and the only way you can be rescued from the hands of the devil is by a ransom and blood sacrifice. And that's why God came and demonstrated his love by giving his son to death. Because the final ultimate end of the devil is death. You know, when, when God created the world, people didn't die. We weren't, Adam and Eve weren't created to die. And as a result in those early days, uh, some of them lived for almost a thousand years, Methuselah 969 years and so on. Why? Because we were not born to die. Death only came because of the curse, because of sin, and because of the influence of the devil. And Satan, Lucifer, whoever you call him, he is the author of death. And so Jesus had to come into the world and be the sacrifice to atone for the sin of the world. You know, I'm always intrigued with a story that I've told sometimes. I remember reading this story about a boy. And with his dad, they decided to make a boat. Just a toy sailing boat. And so the father got some wood and together with the boy, they carved it and shaped it into the shape of a boat. And then uh, they turned to the mother and the mother made the sails for it. And when the great day came, of course, they'd painted it and so on. It was very beautiful. When the great day came, they took it and they took it into the sea and launched it. And of course, it's wonderful. <laughs> this boat, yes, it was wood, it was floating, and the wind caught the sail and took it. But before they could stop it, the wind was strong enough, it took the boat out of reach. And it sailed, and despite all their attempts to find it, they could not get it back. They couldn't reach it. They couldn't get it back. And it was lost on that vast ocean. The boy was so sad. And it was a few days later when he was in the town, and they were on the coast, and when he was in the town and in one of these typical second-hand shops, his eye caught this, he saw a boat. And as he looked at it and examined it, he realized that it was his boat. He went into the shop and said to the man, hey, mister, that's my boat you got in the window. I want it. And I mentioned, you can't have it, he said. It's mine. The boy said, no, it's mine. The man said, it's mine. I, 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 I bought it. And if you want it, you'll have to pay the price. So the boy in despair went home to his dad and pleaded with his dad. He said, I found my boat, but the man won't let me have it unless I pay the price. And of course, his father gave the boy the money and the, man, the boy went and he picked up that boat from the shop and clutching it tightly to his chest, he ran home and he went in and as he saw his mother, he said, Mom, he said, this is my boat. How do you know? He said, I know because I made it. And it's two times mine. It's mine because I made it. And it's mine because I bought it. Oh. 
What a revelation comes out of this. We're two times gods. He made us. And when we were launched onto the ocean of the world, and we were caught by the wind and blown and taking part in it and becoming part of it, the Bible says we were lost. We were lost. And the only way God could get us back was to pay the price and buy us back. So we belong to God two times. Firstly, because he made us, and secondly, because at an incredible price, he had to pay a ransom. You know, we understand about ransom because uh, there are gangs and there are groups who, in order to make vast sums of money, they'll kidnap important people and hold them to ransom. And if you don't pay the price, so often those people die unless they are ransomed. It, it happens. It's happened uh, under the um, uh, Islamic terrorists. And if the price is not paid, they're killed. And you see, this is a trouble. Unless we are redeemed and rescued and ransomed, we die. Now do you understand the difference? So the, this, this verse is saying, this God, and Jesus, of course, is talking about his Father, so loved the world that, and the world, not, not the Christian, not the good people, the sinner. And you know, the thing I love about this is God loves the sinner. God doesn't love us when we're righteous and good and everything that we ought to be. He loves us when we're the worst. And the ones that God loves most are, the, are those criminals, even those murderers, those, those evil people who are doing things. God loves them enough that he wants to ransom them back from the control and the power of the devil. And the only way into the kingdom of God is if we have been redeemed. And I love those words, redeemed by the blood. <laughs>